TSMC predicted its second quarter sales can rise by up to 30%, higher than projected, amid an AI boom driven by its customers, including NVIDIA and Apple. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company said it expects second quarter revenue to be between $19.6 and $20.4 billion, beating estimates of $19.1 billion. It also said it will keep its plans to spend up to $32 billion this year, a majority of which will go towards advanced technologies amid high demand for chips in the AI industry. Wendell Huang, Senior Vice President and CFO of TSMC said, Our business in the first quarter was impacted by smartphone seasonality, partially offset by continued HPC-related demand. Moving into second quarter 2024, we expect our business to be supported by strong demand for our industry-leading 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer technologies, partially offset by continued smartphone seasonality. Reuters reported that TSMC Chief Executive C.C. Wei said the chipmaker is working with many AI companies to address the insatiable AI-related demand for energy-efficient computing power in a first quarter earnings call. However, Bloomberg reported Wei said TSMC would revise its expectations for semiconductor market growth minus memory chips down for 2024 and cut his growth predictions for foundries. In a note about TSMC's first quarter results, Jeffrey's analyst said, AI demand remains strong, but smartphone and PC application recovery is slowing. Earlier this month, TSMC reported sales of $18.5 billion for January through March, a 16.5% year-over-year increase in its March quarter revenue and its fastest monthly sales growth since 2022. It also beat revenue expectations of $18.1 billion. TSMC received $6.6 .6 billion in U.S. Chips and Science Act funding for its first major U.S. chipmaking hub in Phoenix, Arizona at the beginning of April. TSMC already has two chipmaking facilities in Arizona expected to begin production in 2025 and 2028 and will use some of the new funding to build a third facility, increasing the company's investment from $40 to $65 million, according to the Biden administration. Thanks for watching and stick with QZ.com for more.